Hello there friends, once again from Akash, exactly two years back, we introduced the classic EV travel charging kit. And today is the time to introduce the best thing in town, the Voltran Easy Charge. 7th of February, 2021. That's when we launched the video introducing this product. And it's been a very long, enriching and eventful journey. And we are going to talk about that. But for right now, let's focus on the hero of the video, the Voltran Easy Charge Kit. So essentially what this is, this is the same thing as what that is. It is essentially a EV travel charging kit, which consists of an extension cable, an arrangement to measure the power consumption of your EV, an arrangement to create local earthing, all in one compact package which is the easy charge the weight of this at is at around seven and a half kilos the dimensions as you can see pretty compact will not eat up your car's boot space the size is around 25 centimeters this way 25 centimeters this way as well and the width is approximately 21 centimeters the length of the cable is 15 meters, two and a half square mm, which with our experience, we discovered that this gets the job done in most cases. And the length of the earthing wire is at 25 feet, uh, which is eight meters. So this again is optimized for use. And taking a closer look at the insides of the kit, this, as you might have noticed, is the access door, which once closed, it becomes a very compact package. And to access it, you open it like that. And you get the spool right here. And the operation of the spool, as you can see, pretty smooth. It's loaded by bearings inside, pretty smooth. And you can just pull out as much as you want. And once you're done with your charging, you get a knob here, which you can use to wind the entire cable you know, pretty hassle free, you really need not worry about any kind of management. It is well sorted out, well engineered. And here in the inside panel, you get the classic external versus internal earthing selector. You get the indicator which tells you if the earthing is okay and if the polarity is okay. You get the 16 amperes power outlet and of course the electricity meter and an external earthing connector which is basically this banana plug supposed to connect like that. So let's turn it on. So here it is. We have just connected it to the power outlet. You can see right here. It shows quite a lot of information. You get the voltage reading. You get the power consumption, the amperage and everything. And there's also a tiny reset button. So you can press it to reset the kilowatt hour reading. If you get a host who's particularly fussy about making sure everything is zeroed down, you can use this. And also you will notice it's a colorful display, very beautiful, something that you would love keeping in your car. Well, so far for the main spool. Then you have, what you have here is a small earthing spool with an earthing rod attached to it. Uh, I would say 8 inches, somewhere like that. And you can pull it away to, you know, uh, to pitch it in the ground wherever you find your other thing. And once you've done that, all you need to do is connect the banana plug, the earthing banana plug right here. And let me put it to internal right now so that I can show that it is glowing once the earthing is there the red LED glows and this is it like elegant, well packaged, compact, rugged, reliable, made of MS, is made of steel and uh, you know all in one package. So let's now show you a quick demo of the Voltran Easy Charge. We have our trusted Nexon EV with us and here we have the Easy Charge Kit and the Charger. We are going to show you both. Uh, first, I will show you how to charge it with internal earthing. Okay. So, let me just pull the wire over to the plug. 
and connected to the internal earthing. I'm sure you'll be loving the way I'm able to pull it without tugging the cable along with the entire EV charging kit along, along with me. And uh, it is on, looks ready. 240 volt, 50 hertz, power looks good. So let me plug in the charger right here first. And let me select the earthing to internal. My indicator light is glowing. Everything looks fine. I plug it in right here. And I turn on. And it looks good. No earthing fault. I hear the relay from the car and the charging has started. Excellent. I can see the wattage is at 11 amperes and 26 kilowatts being consumed right now. Excellent. Excellent. So that's it for the internal earth. Now let us test the external earthing functionality. So I turn it off for now. Okay. And uh, pull it out. And where should I get the earthing from? Okay, let me try a apparently difficult situation where I have an earthing from across the street. Although I can find, I am going to use the entire length of wire. Let me put the, the kit here, right here. And let me try to reach out if I can go there. So I'm just pitching it in at a random place. I have not done any additional measures like putting water or anything like that. And I've tried to reach out to a relatively far off place from where I am right now, just to simulate a difficult condition, a charging situation. The, because it is not accessible so I will just have to extend it a bit more I keep it here and I put the external earthing and selected external my lamp is still glowing which tells me that the earthing is ok and my car should charge well even with this arrangement so let me bring my charger plug and let's see how things go And let me connect the car and see how it goes. Like so. So far so good. And let us turn it on. Done that. No earthing fault. And the charging started. And I can see the power consumption resumed to more than 2.5 kilowatts and it's charging so all good let's continue from inside the room now so friends that was the complete information of the EV travel kit version 2 which is the Voltran easy charge and if you are happy with the information would just like to go and order you can look at the links in the description below but if you'd like to hang on around for comparison between the two and the journey and things like that just continue so this is the version one in this you see a lot of things which are not there in this okay so the the intent has been different the design intent of both the products have been different of course this was the first version and there are learnings that have come out of this which have gone into this so that is also one reason why you see so much difference between the two so let me begin with the obvious things the earthing rod the new earthing rod you know pretty compact at this stage we were not sure what is the amount of metal that we need to create reliable earthing everywhere and it turned out that we need probably only this much of metal to work in 99% of the scenarios 
right and uh, then in the original travel kit we have a copper plate meant to create earthing from water tank based sources copper creates a very good electrical connection with water you know so we included this uh, we include even now this is available with all this so again think of a situation where we, you will not find a place to pitch in the earthing rod but you will find a water tank it is there where you will probably find this handy but again in real life most of the times you easily find a place where you can just pitch it in and if the water is not too flat you can even dip this itself in the water and hope to find reasonable earthing so that's how then the third thing you get a clamp in the version 1 so the clamp is meant to latch on to a grill or some metal pipes or structures or something like that if you want a total understanding of how all of this came into evolution you must watch the videos on our channel uh, the jaisalmer videos i will just show them on the screen you can click the card above and uh, then you will totally understand how all of this came into being uh, so this will be handy if you have a grill somewhere or maybe an electrical pole with an earthing uh, you know uh, electricity board provided earthing stub you can just put it there but again practically we found that this does the job most of the times so we did not include the clamp in the second version of the travel kit and last but not the least a tow rope this is actually very important uh, but we have not included it in this because if you are in a situation where you need to tow your car to charge it then you have already done a lot of wrong things and don't even be in that situation <laughs> but again if if you really want this this is a nylon raw rope it is pretty easily available in your local market so you can just go around and hunt for it this is a 20 meter piece of uh, nylon rope you can just look for this and keep it in your boot as an additional thing along with this in this product we basically wanted to go for elegance and practicality which works most of the times and there was no elegant way of putting this rope in this kit obviously so we'll leave it to you this is not a very costly deal anyway so you can sort it out yourself and this let it be a very well packaged very good compact beautiful travel kit in its own right so these are the differences and of course in this the earthing cable we took as 30 meters and we realized that we never had to unwind this full length anywhere so we reduced it down to 25 feet which is 8 meters which will do the job then let us take a look at the main spool itself this comes in three formats 2.5 square mm 15 meters then 4 square mm 20 meters length and 4 square mm 25 meters length this comes in a 2.5 square mm 15 meters length which is what we found gets the job done in most of the cases right on top of that here you will see an mcb and you will see a traditional meter still a digital meter but a traditional one here you will see that the mcb is not there and the meter is a much more latest upgraded fancy lovely one so these are the obvious differences but other than that there are no differences okay that said the ev travel kit v1 is still going to be available because for you purists out there who want to be prepared for the absolute apocalyptic emergency all of this is still going to be available if you want a longer length than 15 meters this is the choice that you'll need to go for and uh, if you love the tow rope and if you want us to send you the tow rope we are going to do it in the version 1 so you uh, will need to order the version 1 in that case version 2 if you are somebody who wants 
a beautiful form and a function which covers most of the practical cases this is the product for you in our experience with the specifications that you have here you are never really going to be stranded because of lack of anything in this is like a perfect balanced package so this is what where can you buy this many places first and foremost the voltron electric charge hubs if you are from the ap telangana region you might already be knowing about the voltron electric charge hubs you can go there experience this product for yourself and if you love it you buy it second place you can go to aha dot store and buy this or this the older version from aha dot store and we are also going to make it live on amazon and the link we are going to share very shortly in the description we are happy to share with you that the production is in full swing we are ready with bulk volumes and we really look forward to you checking this out and we are sure you'll love it and we look forward to serving you send you across these beautiful innovations that we have made now let us talk about a bit of history you if you are an ev owner and if you are an ev owner from 3 years back you might be aware of the videos that i posted on my channel uh, when me and my wife we did a jaisalmer trip and we discovered ways to charge the ev anywhere that we went and then when we came back from the trip we basically put everything together bundled it as a package and we put it on sale just as a social experiment and this actually took off it took off beyond our expectations and it was obvious that this product is solving a real pain point and because it was a social experiment we never really looked at it as a money making product it was more like you know it helped us may it help you so here you have it if you want to make it yourself you do it and then i happened to talk to a very close friend of mine mr raja who had recently co-founded voltran electric in hyderabad so since voltran is a totally ev focused company we decided to move this product over to voltran and focus complete ev line of products through voltran i became a part of the voltran team and carried forward the innovation in that capacity so that's how the next version became voltran easy charge is essentially the same team essentially the same product with the same roots and uh, an intent to solve real pain point and make a beautiful difference in the world and this comes to you through voltran so friends this is the story of how the ev travel kit version 1 came to this shape a very well thought out a very well researched and evolved product and an optimized one at that coming from the same team with the same ethics a same intent of making the lives of ev owners simpler and doing our part in you know creating beautiful moments for all of you this is akash on behalf of team voltran signing off goodbye from us